Salvation and revelation to every tribe, tongue, and nation. Salvation and revelation and glory, Jaws, the author of this story, Rasta. For I, oh Jah Rasta, for I, the King of Kings has come. Jah's will shall be done. On earth as in heaven, anointed with the clashing of two sevens, Rasta. For I, oh Jah Rasta, for I, the Lord of Lords has come. God's will shall be done. On earth as in heaven, anointed with the clashing of two sevens, Rasta. For I. Oh, Jarasta, for I, yes, I, glory, praise, honor, worship, reverence unto the Most High, Jarasta, for I, His Imperial Majesty, Emperor, Haile Selassie I, we give thanks, praise, and glory unto the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, for the Lord our God is one, for we honor, revere, and glorify the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who have been revealed in complete core quality in the new name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. And we give thanks and praise unto Jah for giving us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has appeared to us a second time upon the throne of King David to loosen the seals of the book of Revelations, that we may appropriate the whole of God's word from Genesis to Revelations. We praise. The King of Creation, Ja Rastafar, I, glory, glory, glory. We loose all the fruits of the Spirit: love, joy, peace, long suffering, faith, goodness, gentleness, and meekness. And we bind up all the works of the enemy. We cast them down. Cast them down. All the evil works of every foul, unclean demon and unwanted foul spirit. Father God Almighty. We cast them down and we bind, we bind up that strong man within the hearts of all our brethren and all our sisters and all those within the body of Christ and all those of every tribe, tongue, nation and people, Father God Almighty. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we bind up all the works of the enemy and we loose the fruits of the spirit into our lives individually and collectively. What comes out of our mouth shall not return to us void. We give praise unto the Most High, and we thank Him. We thank Him for every spiritual blessing through the blood of Christ Jesus and the anointing of His Holy Spirit, showing and proving us to be truly children reborn and regenerated of the Most High. Ja Rastafari, receiving the atonement of the blood of Jesus Christ, which, received, which revealed to us the gold of the kingdom. And in the gold of the kingdom, who have we found? More ambassadors than Eminegeta, Yehuda, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Unto the glorious completion of all things. Salvation, revelation, and glory. I said salvation, revelation, and glory. We praise Jah, Rastafari. For giving I and I, giving all the I, redemption, revelation, salvation, deliverance, remission of sins, all the blessings through the blood of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. And His glory was revealed with the Father upon the throne of King David. This was publicly disclosed. Publicly disclosed. It was disclosed to Stephen as well, but it was not publicly disclosed. It was privately disclosed to Stephen when Stephen was stoned and he looked into the sky and he saw that throne. He saw the Almighty. He saw that was his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, the core quality of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit being revealed unto Stephen. But this was not a public disclosure. This was a private disclosure that was revealed unto Stephen, which was cataloged in Acts. This has been publicly disclosed to every tribe, tongue, nation, and people. What was shown to Stephen before his stoning, while he was being stoned, 
has now been publicly disclosed to all of mankind, every tribe, tongue, nation, and people, for us to grow individually and collectively in the image of God. So we give praise unto the Most High. And let's step into our scriptures. You know, he testifies that for his part, he glories in the Bible. So for us who consider ourselves Rastafari, we share the testimony of Jesus Christ along with the testimony of this book. And we testify of his revelation, his salvation, and his glory, which we have received in the new name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. So we testify of this blessing, this empowerment, this, this, this strength and this duty. And, and, and we exhort and, and we, we, we admonish this truth. The spirit of truth must be proclaimed unto all tribes, tongues, and nations. Today I want to speak of our keeping of our temples, the keeping of our body, the keeping of our faith, the keeping of our right mind, the keeping of our truth. And the keeping of our truth comes through submission to God's word. Submission to his word. And when we submit to his word, we scrutinize his word. Just as you would a grape when you seek to receive all the juices from it. You want to squeeze it. You want to churn it. You want to twist it. And that's what we want to do with the word. We want to scrutinize the word to receive all of the blessings that we have within it. So if you would, let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 1. This is one of my favorite, favorite favorite verses favorite verses and this is this is one this should this should ground everybody in in our in our faith and, and also ground you um, in in the blood of Christ help 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 ground you um, in the faith and in right action and promoting um, the revelation salvation and glory of Jesus Christ so let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So this will be our key verse for today. And this, this, this verse shines a light on the key importance of our faith, that, that, that we must present our bodies as a living sacrifice. And, and, and not just present them in any form of fashion, but we must present them not only acceptable to God, but being holy. We must be holy as he is holy, for our Savior, our Messiah, our Christ is holy. And he has shown us his holiness. It has been publicly disclosed in and through mortal man. In and through Tafari Makonan is the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit shared and revealed in the new name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. So through this empowerment and through the glory of the Bible, we, 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 we recognize the holiness of Christ. And we recognize um, the way in which we are to promote ourselves as being acceptable to God. So let's scrutinize these words. Let's go through the scripture here. Uh, Romans chapter 1 chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore so so here here Paul Paul when Paul says beseech it's a term it's almost like a term of endearment it's something that connects one with another if I were to beseech you that would mean that I see you as being one with me it means it, it's the way in which you speak to one who you see yourself being equal with so Paul came to his brothers as a servant serving the testimony of Jesus Christ and he saw himself as being equal with them and he, he came to them and he came with them with encouragement and and, and, and sought to, 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 to strengthen them strengthen them um, in the faith and strengthen them in realizing our oneness and our unity with Christ and only through our oneness and our unity with Christ can we promote ourselves being acceptable to God and can we present ourselves to be actually holy as our Christ is holy being cleansed through his blood which provides us with the remission of sins. And the Comforter, who is our Holy Spirit, testifies upon, upon all our actions and helps us to know those things that are acceptable in the eyes of God, along with the Word being a light and a lamp to our feet. 
So Paul here, he, he, he beseeches them. And, and, and when you beseech one, as I said before, uh, when you address them, you speak to them as one being equal with you. So if I, I wouldn't beseech my children because me and my children are not equal. I am the head of this household, so I do not beseech my children. I would, I, would, I would exhort them, I would speak to them, I would tell them, I would give them direction. But here, Paul comes to them beseeching, which means that he's expressing his, his, his union with them and expressing that, that we, are, we are of one and expressing his communion with the brothers in the body of Christ. So let's continue on. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. Brethren, this is how we must continue to look upon the faith, not just look upon our uh, uh, 12 tribe, our uh, Bobo, our uh, Christian, our uh, Pentecostal, our uh, Baptist, our uh, Catholic. We have to start looking at each other as brethren, brethren in the faith, because this promotes our acceptability to God. And this is something that was promoted by Paul, as we see here. He exhorted, he, he, he came to his brothers beseeching them, and he saw them as brethren. And brethren, in the in, in ones who you would consider your brethren are those who, are, who, are, who have confessed a faith in Jesus Christ, because those are your only true, tried and true brethren, those who have actually confessed a faith in Jesus Christ and have uh, received an adoption as sons of God. And this has to be our, our acknowledgement of our faith as being adopted sons uh, through Jesus Christ sons of God so 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 Paul he 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 beseeches his brethren and, and how does he beseech his brethren he does so by the mercy of God and when when Paul expresses the mercy of God it's to it's to explain his 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 feelings towards us it's to explain the 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 compassion that he has towards us it's to explain his, his, his long-suffering nature towards us. And, and, and Paul's beseeching of his brethren was uh, provoking from the mercies of God because it's by God's mercy that, that, that he wants us to be holy and acceptable in his eyes because only through his mercy can we be holy and acceptable in his eyes because there's nothing that we can do through our own works that will promote our, our, our being acceptable in the eyes of of the Heavenly Father. It is only by confessing a faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and receiving of His atonement, receiving of His blood and recognizing it as being our only means of salvation. So He beseeches us through the mercy of God and by the mercy being the compassion, the pity, the pity that the Father has for us. And here we, it shows that we are created in the image of our Father because here our Father expresses His mercy, His pity, His compassion, what He felt of His emotions, His long-sufferingness towards us. And, and, and these, these, these are also qualities that we share for our children. So it should, it, should, it should lift us up to see that our Father shared such mercy for us and He provoked Paul to testify through this mercy. And it is this mercy that cleanses us and, 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 and reveals the manifestation of his salvation, revelation, and glory in our lives. Um, let's continue. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. By the mercies of God. And I love, um, I truly love the blessings of the word in which it's not just by the letter, but as, as Paul has also explained, that it's by the Spirit. The Spirit reveals so much. When we look at the Word of God, we, of our Orthodox faith, we know that, that, that God is one, the Lord is one. And, and, uh, and, but but his, he, he, is, he, is, he is a hypostasis, meaning one single, uh, one single matter uh, being quantified of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, so here Paul testifies of God and testifies of, of the mercy and the compassion coming from, coming from God. And that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is what we see being revealed in and through, mirrored and typified within Tafari Makonan. And this is why Tafari Makonan gave up 
his name. 